Yo guys, what is up, this is Nick. We are back on the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt uh, Blood and Wine DLC, and we're going to be doing Turn and Face the Strange. This is the quest that I believe I started in the last episode, and never actually got to because we got into that other quest, um, as well as that side little thing, but here we go. We're going to start this time uh, with, this episode, or with this quest, and we're going to finish this quest, and then probably, depending on how long is it, if it, I don't know what I will do if it doesn't take the full episode. Um, but in the next episode, I guess I should say, we will continue back to the main story. I just want to get out of this. Let me see if this fast travel actually gets me. I know the fast travel is kind of brutal in this game, but it's got to be faster than riding horseback. All right, so let's get here. Because, yeah, we got to ride slow through the city anyway. Uh, so it should be, um, what was I going to say? It should, we should be good. Um, I think I've got this kind of planned out on how I'm going to do this. It's going to be a couple episodes of, no, oh, wow, that was actually pretty quick. Uh, two episodes of non-story, and then we'll go back and do a story. Uh, and I think that'll be a nice way to clean up everything. Uh, so here we are. We need to search for Mario's grave. Um, this is kind of weird. Wait, how am I supposed to... Hold up, how am I supposed to tell which grave this is? None of them are like, they're not like, glowing for me to inspect them. Oh, oh, I just have to... Okay. So I gotta walk up to all of these. Caroline satire, just what don't you fucking understand, you fucking cunt, she said to her cat when it refused to fetch a stick, working her into a fatal rage. Um, Barque de Donich, wait, wait, I can explain everything. These are some different uh, headstones. Christian curate, mistranslation, misunderstanding, misfortune. Uh, Martin Blanche, head of the Beauclair League of Bards. Philip Tess Tisserand, collector of Witcher Blades, only had one but tried very hard. Patrick Mullins, talked himself to death. Thomas Meru Professor, uh, a bunch of language that mm, inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Thank you, Geralt, for re reading that to me. Damn, Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Okay, so look for clues about the location of Professor. Okay, so there's footprints. Uh, to follow the grave robber's trail. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Footprints. Narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Uh, where did, oh. Damn it. Trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Okay, check the location of Navda on the map Yennefer sent you. Okay, so that should be... being key items. Mm, where is it? Quest items, there we go. I need to find another armor. I... We, we probably should get a new set of armor just so we can have something different. Old map of Toussaint. Where's... This actually is going to be kind of hard. Where is that map? The Yen sent me. And I don't remember what it was called. Is it? Hmm. 
Is it the... hold on. Let me see here. Is it this? Not that, this. Not sure what that is. That was that it? Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Sonra tour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Mine once lay. Need to explore the location. All right. So I did figure out which map I needed to look at. Good. All right. Um, we need to come out here. So I'll go here, and um, we'll hit up this marked location. Hopefully it's not something crazy that I can't handle because I'm still only level 37. There are some of these question marks that are definitely set for higher levels, uh, like into the 40s, which is kind of interesting because I did play like a whole entire NG+. Plus. I didn't record it, uh, but I did play an NG+, Plus and I got to like only, I was like level 50 something by the time I finished that, and if you do all the DLC, because I haven't even done the other DLC on this character, nor have I 100%ed Skellige, um, that's kind of, it's kind of weird. If you do all that, you can get over 50. So it's an interesting... I just want to get out of here before I call Roach. Alright, let's go, Roach. Faster. Trading in wine while some witcher guards the Hopefully I can run down this, yep. Alright, let's go get this question question mark first. Hopefully it's hopefully it's something that I can handle. And it's a monster's nest, and I can handle it. We're the same level. Why is my auto my audio like delayed? There we go. I think it's fixed now, but my audio was like jacked up. It was like delayed. There we go, there's one dead. Get out of the trees. Get over here and fight me. What are you doing? Get out from the trees, you little shit. Oh, I was close to killing it there. Why is it coming up now? There we go. It's time to end this. Alright, where's... Okay, they didn't drop any loot. There's one. Did you drop loot? Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's destroy Make this the monster. Let's sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. That's good stuff. Alright, now let's go to our objective. Alright, so I need to go swimming. Ah, there looks there's a cave entrance. Nice. There it is too. F off, drowner, drowner. F you. Just leave me alone. Alright, let me get near the top, so... Holy shit! No, go down, go down, go down. Wow, this is a long way you gotta go! But... There we go, we're good. It really looks like... Some tr Wow, there is some treasure down here. What else do we got down here? Here's another chest over here. Wow, there's just all sorts of loot here. Okay, what the hell, Geralt? Swim back! Stop swimming forward! Oh ho, a hundred crowns. hundred and twelve crowns, nice. I need to replenish my money after our little spending spree on the house. I had like almost, I was getting close to like 30 grand before we went on that spending spree. Why, Geralt, turn your ass around. 119 crowns. Okay, let me grab the non-story element. Dragon scales, nice. And armor dies. Geralt, you fat ass swim around. Locked, key required. 
Huh. Okay, so we've got a locked chest. Got a dead end area. Alright, well, I guess this dude right here has got the key to this body here, I would assume. This body doesn't have the key, I don't know who has the key. No, gold ring. Oh, there's another body. Another body to potentially give me this key. Nope, emerald ring. All right, let me come up and get some air real quick. All right, so it doesn't look like this is the correct entrance because it says Professor's uh, Laboratory in the Flooded Valley of the Nine. That's not right over there, so it's got to be over here. I'm just going to ignore the drowners. I could shoot them, I guess, but... May not be it. That okay? No, it's not. It's this thing over here. Where's the entrance, though? Because that certainly isn't an entrance. Ah, here we go. So this is gonna teleport us somewhere. This is a really nice quest. I like this quest. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Search the ruins. Hopefully for a key. There better be a key somewhere in here. Everything's lit up. There's always usually an elemental around here. Implanted spikes. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Oh god. Gotta walk with some accuracy here. Oh god, I gotta run through these. Oh, move! Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, go! Okay, now where? I guess... Oh, uh, let's check over here. Oh god, this is a- Oh god! Just go! Jump! Meleth. Alright, once I get back over there... Let me meditate real quick, just for a quick little hour. Get my stuff back. All right, let's head on down. I I wish. Actually, I don't know. I was gonna say. There we go. Alright, so we've got... Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! I was about to admire the... the panthers, and then they turn to real life! Shit! F you, kill you. Alright, okay. Alright, They drop- oh, they did drop. Aw. They didn't drop, like, anything special. I was hoping they would drop, like, a panther hide or something cool like that. Oh, diamond and an amethyst. Nice. Alright, let me put my sword away. Okay, over here we've got a drop down. I don't want to go there yet. There we go. Alright, where... There are a lot of arching paths here. 
kind of crazy. There's the drop down path. What am I stuck on? What the heck? I can't. Okay, there we go. There's this path over there. And then there's also our little hole in the ground back there. Uh, looks like they actually connect, so I don't think it matters which one. Yeah, it looks like you would come from over here. Yeah, if you dropped it. Okay. That looks like water or death. I can't tell. I think it's water. So I don't want to go down there yet because I can't get back up here. That I can see yet. Okay, so we got a regular crossbow. Ah, there we go. His diary. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Since certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory, I've been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. Uh, an alleg uh, illegible... Why can't I say that word? illegible fragment. Uh, furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the promises with a simple mechanical apparatus in one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory. Uh, I have installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass these locks with e or this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, he must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose. Then he must find a way to press them. Ille illegible fragment. Why can I not read that word? Okay. So does that mean? Alright, this thing's probably gonna come to life, yep. Oh crap. I just want this. Come here. Okay, now. Uh that's the correct way. What is up here? Nothing, it's just a dead end. Wait. What is that? Oh, there's the stones you have to press. I'm not entirely sure how that works out. Okay, so a bunch of dies. Nice. Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna do anything with that yet. Some decent stuff there. Alright, what is Course. this? Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Could try to hit them. Okay, find a way to open the doors. Okay, so there's one, two... I almost just walked off the edge. There's one, two... Two. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Okay, I'm not sure why I can't You, but... Okay, so... The other protruding stones... Are they one of these? I can't tell. Hmm. So I see two. Now it all comes down to what the other two are. I'm assuming those are dummies in there. Um, and we'll figure that out in a second. All right, crossbow, let's get this bad boy out. Okay, somehow that hit. It's actually pretty generous with... Okay, so there's two locks undone. I'm hoping this is permanent. Let's see. Are these something you can press in? Alright, no. What about this one? No. Does that have something to do with these heads? No. Okay, so no. It's in this room. 
I think I was right because it clearly is showing that it should be in this room. Now it comes down to where the heck are the buttons? Guess while I'm thinking here, well, let's light this room up a little bit and give it some light. Okay, so, oh, there's one of them. There's another one right there. Okay, so now there's just one left. Where would it be? Is it roof somewhere? Ah, I see it. I see it. There we go. Ah, did it. Find his laboratory now. We're back to that. This looks like another guardian location. Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. It looks Sometimes. like these gargoyles are going to come to life. Find a way to go forward. Ah, yep, yeah, told ya! Told ya! It's a gargoyle party. Yeah, figured as much. Why do I feel like we're going to have to kill multiple gargoyles? Trying to, like, keep an eye on- Oh, you dick, throwing your back. Okay, there's one down. I'm assuming there's a chance I may need to kill all of these gargoyles. Uh, gargoyle paw, nice. Alright, that seems to have worked. Ah, there we Great. go. Great. Portals. This just keeps getting better. Oh, good. Russian roulette. Um. Alright, let's go with the left portal first. We'll just do them in order. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, dude. Good. We're just playing a grand old right. game of... How to find the next portal. Okay, I have to go on this one. There's no other choice. Son Damn of a it. bitch. Back where I started. Okay, so let's try this portal. Or is this the portal I... This is the portal, portal I just went into. This was left. I went left again. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's try this over here then. Okay. Damn it. Back where I started. Left path eliminated. Alright, let's try the right path now. Damn it. Right. Wrong again. Could be some clue around here. Okay, we gotta go in through the front one. There is no other option. What? Damn it. Back where I started. Okay, so you have to go left. Alright. Now to find the next portal. Okay. So left is the correct one. Right. Now to find the next portal. Now is the key to this has something to do with jumping off? I think it does. It's got you gotta jump off here, okay. Because this is a different room. So, let's try going forward. So, left forward is what we've tried now. So, okay, that didn't work. So, okay, so now let's go left, left. There's probably a way to figure this out, but this is just as easy, almost. So we'll just go this time left, left. All right. Now to find the next portal. All right. So left, left. If it's not this one. It has to be left, right. So we did narrow it down. Okay. So it's got to be. These issues seem oddly oriented, as if to all face in one direction. Okay. Direct so it has to go only. left, right. If it's not left, right, then I don't know. I'm face completely in one confused. Direction. Right portal, oh, maybe find the next portal. If it ain't left right, then 
I guess it could be up there. Uh, I think it's up there. Let's try that first. It'll probably be right. There we go. I was gonna say, can I not make that jump? Okay, I think this is correct right here. This isn't it, then I'm confused. Alright, now to find the next portal. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Uh, okay, so it left forward second. I'm gonna try left forward. S no, wait, wait, wait. He's facing. Okay. Hold up. How do I get over there? Okay, so he's facing. If you look down there, it's facing that portal over there. So I need to make this jump. Okay. Should be this one. So left, forward, forward. I think. I don't even. Yeah, it's. No, it's left, forward, right. Okay, that doesn't even matter anymore. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Nice. Loot galore, baby. Yeah. Take my time and loot. All right. So this looks like. To, oh, this is one of those. Uh, those things that Yen and all of them talk with. That's an interact. So let's hold up on that for a second. You go ahead. Okay, so now we've got the so-called giant centipedes, or my only comfort in exile. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that up. There we go. Need that megascope crystal. Nice. I'm gonna need that. Oh, that's nice. And lesser mutagen transmuter blue something. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Witcher Mutations, an introduction to research. This seems important, I'll read this. Uh, before embracing or embarking on any consideration of the mutations undergone by witchers, let alone research them, one should be aware of the specific physiolog phil physiology ash, physiology and biochemistry of these individuals, the transformation they experience during the trial of the grasses, which are widely considered to be irreversible, cause witchers to become uh, infertile while significantly increasing their physical strength and sharpening their sense senses. The process also deprives witchers of emotions and human reflexes. Although information about the trial of the grasses and other transformations to which young adepts of the witcher craft are subject to uh, are subjected is strictly protected by master witchers and witcher sorcerers. L Ludovic Celestian of Don Ar of Bonard claims the albumen of gray scalopendromorphs, the strain of giant centipede more commonly known as pale widows, constituted the basis of witcher, witcher mutagens. However, all research confirming this theory have been lost. Now, let me see here. Okay, I don't know where the book was that I just pick it, picked up. Okay, proto-fleeters. Okay, that looks like a way out. Um, got here, another Megascope crystal. Greater blue mutagen. organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. What's this? Oh no, I can't do anything with it. That looks like where a portal opens up. Right, what is Intriguing this? Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Is this okay? Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Crystals. Should mount them in the Megascope. Missing two crystals. Mm. This crystal must go here. 
All crystals in place. Show me what you got. Uh... Just need to pick an entry. Well, let's listen to all of them, I guess. Or do whatever with all of them. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When fifteen years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did, in a sense, come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Years of experiments, 
be such sacrifice, all for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. So the Professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. A stroke of luck for me could profit from his failure. So, Professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Okay, so now we need to acquire mutated giant centipede albumin. Uh, I think we will do that in the next episode. I'm going to call it right here. And obviously, like I said, in the next episode, we will uh, acquire mutated giant centipede albumin. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.